Well, good day, everybody. Glad you can join me today. I just received my uh, BRS 3000T lightweight backpacking stove. We're going to take a look at it. There's videos out there saying that it's a nice, good ultralight stove. Works great. And then there's videos out there that says, basically, yes, it's a good stove. But the only thing is, you have on or off with no or very minimal adjustability. So, we're going to take a look at that. I just, just received the stove. So, I'm going to put you on hold, put this uh, camera on a tripod, and let's take a look at it. I'll be right back. Okay, just to let you know, I'm not going to be uh, boiling water. That's not what this video is about. This video is about a quick look at this BRS 3000T titanium stove. Right now, it is the lightest and smallest backpacking stove on the market today. So, that's what we're going to take a look at. Um, there's a lot of excellent reviews on this stove. They say it's a very good stove to have. Yes, cost efficient. It's cheap, but it does what it says it's going to do. So let's take a look at it. I just just picked it up, just got it in. So let's open it up. little drawstring baggie nylon nice and small put that aside now this is your stove look how small that baby is that is very very small very light 24 for $24 I paid for that Canadian so let's flip her down so all you got to do is make sure that all the supports are down click open your adjuster and then slowly tighten up your supports by just pushing them down in place then go to the opposite side lift that up push down in place and then the last one, push down in place. Now, as far as the adjuster goes, you've got to really make sure, because when you pack it, or when you get it, it's open. So you've got to make sure the valve is closed. Just turn it until it's closed. Okay, now it's closed. That is a nice little stove. Lightweight. Made out of titanium. It's only got a few inches here for support. There's a look at it. O-ring. All right. So let's take a look at it and see if there's adjustability in using this stove whether or not uh, it's just on full blast and off or on short flame and work its way up to a high flame and then work its way up to a full-on boil so let's let's hook this up okay again valves off for isobutene fuel Let's put that on. Okay. And then once you get to this here level, just give it a little push to squeeze the O-ring. There it is. Okay, now we're ready. So the main purpose of this video is basically to see if I got control in the flame, the heat, from a nice, soft, uh, uh, simmer 
to a rapid flame for a boil. So let's let's check that out. I don't know. I just cracked the valve a little bit. Lit her up. So let's 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 slowly turn her down. I don't know what do you see there? Like a candle. All right, that's pretty low. It's not going to go out. So let's crank her up. That's a light simmer, in my books anyways. So let's crack that up some more. You can hear it. You can see it. Not too bad. Let's keep turning it up. Let's crank it all the way. Alright, that's cranked. That's gonna boil a couple couple of water a couple cups of water in no time flat. Now let's let's back her off a bit. A little more. Let's slow her down a little bit more. Let's simmer it right off. You can hear it. Now back to our candle. There you go. So from this, right here, That is a lot of adjustability in my books anyway. So let's shut that down. All right. One of the reasons why I bought this is because of the footprint, the weight, being the smallest stove out there, but also to nest with my uh, 900 milliliter pot titanium which has the same features as your uh, Stanley uh, cook pot okay so there's the stove there's my cylinder there's the stove there's the pot okay now if you look at the boot or the footprint you'll see it matches very well very well matched and seats very well okay that's the reason why I chose this for a pairing now the reason why I have this is for emergency purposes this here kit with my lighter, uh, a bottle stand, okay, right here, a support. All this 
will be nest away in this in the center console of my truck 24 7. the reason is is for any reason you break down on the road where you're nowhere near a town or whatever and uh, you know you're gonna be there for a while at least you got a means for cooking boiling water melting snow to drink your water so you don't have to worry about how much food you you eat in the next three weeks if you're broke down but you know what you need your liquids you can only go a few days without water well just by having oh look at that cold cold to the touch there you go titanium you don't have to that's <laughs> that cooled down right off the bat that's another good feature of this stove and having a titanium so yeah so anyways the reason why I'm doing that is for safety measures to keep in my truck I have my source of uh, heat melting water and if I want to get my coffee going I got my French press <laughs> so anyways you can use that for a lot of things but I just wanted to touch up on this stove here Okay, so this is the BRS 3000T for titanium. It's the smallest stove on the market today. And for 24 Canadian dollars, I'm telling you, I'm going to buy a few of them because I'm going to have them everywhere. So it's a very inexpensive uh, stove. And for a price of my uh, MSR Deluxe and my... Pocket Rocket 2. There's my Pocket Rocket 2. My MSR Deluxe. Again, very expensive stoves. Very nice stoves. But for $24, I think that's going to go into my center council. And I don't have to worry about it. So just a small video. Just showing the capabilities of your of your stove from a light simmer to a roiling boil you can do that with that it's not just on and full blast you've got a lot of control in that valve all right so again thanks for dropping by give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the bell and we'll see you later take care bye now